in Tokyo. We are going back to the babe store in Shibuya for Leon. He's gonna see what they have, and then um, we're gonna pretty much just explore everywhere that was on our list that we failed to explore the first two days. So before we head out to Imperial Palace and Electric City and what was the other place? Oh, we're, we're trying to go to Tsukiji Market as well. We stopped by this random ramen place in like the hub of Shibuya. Melon soda, babe? You're always drinking melon soda, even in Okinawa. We finally exited the train station and we're almost at Imperial Palace. I'm super excited, guys. Are you excited, babe? Yeah. <laughs> House in Japan. On the dark side, if you get cold, it's a cold case. In my right mind, I can ride, ride till I roll away. Skeleton on my left wrist, is that so bad? On my knees, thank you, God, then it got me through the pain. We just saw a bridge area. Saw the bridge area of the Imperial Palace over there. And now we're headed towards this entrance. I'm not too sure what it is, but we'll see. This entrance may have been just like a simple exit. It just led up to like some kind of writing trail and just the whole area so i think where we were at by the bridge was the only place you could actually see the imperial palace okay anyways so that was pretty much it that was the best we could do for getting uh the view of the imperial palace so we're gonna head back to the train station and head to tsukiji market so we found a buddhist temple it's called the tsukiji hongwanji buddhist temple it's actually really pretty. Alright guys, we found the Kiji Market. So we aren't going to like the area where they uh, auction the tuna off in the morning. We're like right across it where there's a bunch of seafood that you can try. So here's one restaurant. This is the first one we came across. Looks pretty good. Momentarily, I thought that everything was closed because we came too late. I'm not sure if that's still the case, but it does look like there's still a few um, places open, so that's exciting. Looks like they're selling some squid here, some squid jerky, there's some rice cake, some mochi. But that's like mentaiko fish eggs. Mentaiko. Mentaiko. Yeah, I see fish eggs. Mm. No. Yeah, it's like really expensive, really high quality, but it's disgusting. Mm. Mentaiko. Thank you. If I'm not mistaken, that's a real tuna, guys. Like, I can see it and smell it. That's raw meat right there. It's crazy. I wonder if they, like, did something to preserve it, but it's there and it's real. It's pretty cool. We're going to try this restaurant. All right, we're going to try this myself. It smells really fishy in here. We're headed to Electric City and... Akihabara. 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 Alright guys, we are in Akihabara and I think this is Electric City. I saw this Gundam Cafe. I'm totally going in. Let's go. So I guess this is the Gundam store. The cups.
we found the camera section. All the drones. That was big camera and now we're going to this game Taito station. Right there. <laughs> Never mind guys, this is just an arcade game center. We're not going here. It's like only in Japan, right? <laughs> and we're gonna try the Kobe beef on a stick. You guys know that that's like super famous and popular in Japan. It's like the best type of beef. <laughs> I'll never see it again. <laughs> I'm not hungry. <laughs> yeah. Well, on that note, guys, I think I'm gonna end the vlog right here. All right, guys, I'm on the last leg of my battery. My camera is about to die, but basically, we're gonna head to that Sega. It's like a bigger Sega than the one I'm using, Okinawa. And after that, probably gonna head home. We might go out to a bar, but this is pretty much the end of our vlog for Tokyo. I hope you guys enjoyed it and stay tuned for our next vlog. Bye bye.